Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're on episode number 21 of the Oil Eye series. That's 21 paintings every day I've done. Every day a painting. It's a good job, isn't it, Smidge? Yeah. Yeah, Smidge is impressed. Yeah, yeah. yeah you are, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and today, ooh, let me just move my chair a little bit. I keep ending up going out of shot like this. <laughs> All like this. <laughs> but I'll uh, try and keep myself like this so you can see my face. Although I'm slightly cut off over here, but Smidge can fill that gap now. Yeah, I can tell that gap now. Yeah, he can, can't he, Smidge? So why are we doing a tomato? Well, I chopped a tomato into slices for my burger. <laughs> and as I sliced it, I was like, ooh, that would make a good picture. Yeah, it would. Yeah, and uh, since uh, I've been really getting into realism now, well, realism to a degree, <laughs> my version of realism, um, I thought I'd do it. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, I thought it was a good idea. I thought about taking a picture of the burger as well. Uh, don't know about that. Well, I'll we'll just do the tomato then. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started, Smidge, and uh, you can go in your seat like normal on the floor. <laughs> so let's have a look at the colours. Um, we have a variety of colours. I'm getting a bit of feedback from my microphone. Let's move the cable. Mm, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Right. <laughs> Colors, 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 which color shall we use? Well, I think we'll use reds. <laughs> Since it's a tomato, it's red, isn't it? So, uh, what we got here, I think to start with, um, it's a good idea to do a bit of a sketch just to get us uh, the position of the Tommy, 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 Tommy tomato. Or is it Tommy tomato? Depends where you are. Some people it's tomato, some people it's tomato. I don't think there's any other pronunciations of tomato. Tomato? Does anyone say tomato? Hmm, maybe. Let's get this brush, get a bit of water, get a bit of red. Why am I using red? Because it's a tomato. And I always pick a color that's in the painting, whatever uh, I'm gonna do and draw in. I always use a color that's in the, in, in the painting. Okay, so I'm not gonna do an exact replica of this one. I'm going to, what's going on with this? <laughs> Why do I find this so hard going from left to right? I don't know, that's really weird. I don't think I can do it that way. Okay. Let's do it like this. Yeah, I feel okay now. <laughs> I wanted to try it the other way around, but I can't do it. Okay, it's because I read left to right. Maybe that's why. Yeah, maybe it is. Right, let's, let's sit back. Let's sit back. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at the shape. Let's have a look at that shape. Tomato. Uh, it was a tasty burger. I do like a burger. I know there'll be vegetarians out there cursing me for saying that. But I do. It was a nice quarter pounder. It really was. <laughs> And they had one of those uh, special buns, brioche, brioche, brioche. 
it was delicious. So, we we are again painting away, training myself to be a better painter by painting every day. Yeah. And if you've been painting, uh, I mean, if you do something like this, then uh, you'll find yourself getting better. <laughs> So that's what I find, find myself getting better. I feel better as a painter. I feel, I actually feel better as a person for doing this. And I don't know why that is. It's cause I'm doing something that I really enjoy, I suppose. I mean, I've been going, doing my day job, getting up at silly o'clock. And then uh, coming back, thinking of an idea <laughs> by chopping up a tomato <laughs> and then getting ready and there we are painting again. Happy days, happy days when the paints are out. Right, we need to mix this red colour here. That's going to be our first colour, I think. It's a nice red colour. So I've got Cadmium Deep out and the more I think about Cadmium Deep, the more I'm shying away from it. I think Cadmium Red Hue, which is what I've got here, Cadmium Red Hue, not even any Cadmium pigment in this. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Oh well, seems to work all right. So I'm thinking cadmium red hue and I'm thinking maybe a little crimson in it as well. But let's have a look at the cadmium red hue on its own. So obviously it's not dark enough, is it? You see, not dark enough, not dark enough, not dark enough. It's just too light. It's too light. So I'll put some red out. I'm not sure if the burnt umber would have done better. I don't know. Let's just see what the uh, crimson does to this red. It should darken it nicely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, that's not what I'm after. That red is a lot more Luxurious. Let's get some of this cadmium deep out. Maybe even cadmium deep is the way to go after all. Cadmium red, cadmium deep. I've still got a bit of crimson on my brush, but it doesn't matter really. Yeah, that is, that is pretty close actually. I yeah, didn't think of that actually. I don't know why. I figured cadmium deep would be too. So we're pretty close. We're slightly too orangey. I think we need a bit of uh, burnt umber in it. Burnt umber makes a good darker in colour actually. It does. Let's have a look at that. Well that's too brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Red in it. About that now. It's too brown still. I'm 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 close to the uh, colour. Can't blob too much paint out then. <laughs> oh well. 
No paint, no painting, as they say. What we got now? It's close. Now it looks a little bit different. I think it needs a bit of this. Let's see what that does to it. Wow. So yeah, this is really tight. <laughs> I'm so like almost there, almost there. What have we got? A little. Almost. This looks like ketchup. <laughs> Tomato ketchup. So it's like really close. I think I'm just going to go with it. It's uh, really, really, really close now. So it'll do. As I've made this massive pile, I've got enough bread on there to uh, put on a burger if that was ketchup. <laughs> so let's just go for it today. I'm feeling like I can just go for it this one look how glorious that bread is it's, it's a tiny bit lighter over this side isn't it just a tiny bit so I could do with like a such as Naples yellow in it probably for that side so I'll put a bit of Naples yellow there and we'll carry on doing the other side and then we can come back can't we and there's probably like this colour I mean that's got a bit of crimson in I would say so we'll focus on this in this area first I think I'm using the brush um, forward <laughs> forward bristles first bristles first load the brush both sides of paint and then forward because sometimes i use the brush sideways like that so today i'm using forwards forwards okay having a look having a look this is amazing there's some straight bits like that straight bits and this bit's got to connect to this bit so put that there now it gets a bit lighter so let's get some of this Naples yellow yeah it's not far off needs a bit of that colour in it. Uh -huh. Now, there is more red areas so we'll leave that there but there's a deeper red so we'll take a bit of that red here and let's make this deeper red and having it a bit of brown in it, probably a bit of crimson in it. Look at that. It's not dark enough. Oh, this burnt umber. Burnt umber and crimson in, in my red there. Yeah, let's try and get the angle. Yeah, mine's just gone. 
<laughs> it's gone into a brown again. It's close, but the the tone is just light into the brown side, which is not what I want. More crimson. I think I need a a shot of red in that. Oh no! <laughs> I meant to put the cadmium red deep in that. Damn it! Oh, let's use a bit of that. Yeah, well, that looks. Not far from that colour there. Making a bit of a hash of us. <laughs> well, I've never done this before. And, uh, I don't think there's any point in me painting something and then painting it again. Although I'm going to have to do that with some of the uh, one of the paintings because it didn't record properly. But I don't think there's any point in me doing that because then. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to throw some black in here. Oh, maybe. <sighs> I tell you, sometimes, I don't know what I'm doing. Get some blue. Come on, Jason. Wake up. <laughs> You've only been up since four o'clock in the morning. And it's only about half eight, nine o'clock now. Red. Dull, 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 Awful. Just don't like it. I think. Now I've woken up a bit. I could probably just use cadmium red deep with a little bit of blue in it. Oh dear, dearie, 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 what a waste of cadmium red. So this is supposed to be an easy one. <laughs> Not supposed to be messing about this much. That's what I thought anyway. Cadmium red with the blue. Okay, that's too dark. Let's get some more red in it. Be ready for the blue. That's closer. And that's going to be pretty close now, I think. Needs a bit, just a bit more blue in it. I'm gonna get it quite dark, but not brown. Let's see. Uh, let's see how that looks. Otherwise, I'll be here all night. It's quite dark. We can always liven things up, can't we? So let's uh, think about this. It sort of goes like that, like that, and then. Uh, Move back a little bit so I can see things a bit better. Okay. And, uh, paint those seeds in as well. Don't want to worry 
worry too much about that yet. And it gets a bit lighter there, so I'll put a little bit more of the red in there. We'll add that light bit afterwards. We'll add those seeds afterwards as well, actually. Let's just get that shape. Something like that anyway. It's pretty close. And then that's like an orangey colour there. But let's do that other side. Uh, and there's seeds floating around in that um, other side. Let's, uh, let's get this dark in. Dark goes to about here. And then get some more of this red. And I think that can go there. More the red. Something like that. a lot lighter here. I think it needs a stronger yellow in it. Like a cadmium yellow. As much as I like Naples. <laughs> that was Naples. <laughs> yellow. It just doesn't seems strong enough. Yeah, that's better. Get a little bit of that. Could do lining a little bit, but we can do that in a minute as well. red and yellow in it I think I think I can get some of these that's quite light it's this bit here I was thinking I might be able to Some of this. Okay, so fill that in. bad and it's not quite right though that's for sure so I'm just going to start looking at areas and putting bits of red in and, and then we'll start we need to mix this colour now I think that's what I'm thinking and let's put this brush aside because it's in the simplest possible way polluted. <laughs> it is polluted. So just sit back and look at this tomato. No, let's just get some of this dark. I don't like the shape of mine that well. Needs to be more like there, I think. Let's 
That's better. Okay. Let's use another brush. I'm trying to use bigger brushes today. It's kind of a, a challenge for myself to not use such big brushes for my painting today anyway. I mean, not to use small brushes. I think I just said not to use big brushes. Yeah, not to use small brushes. That's quite pink and we need more white we need more yellow yeah that's not bad is it it's a fly trying to attack me oops if you go into a bit of red it's best to Wipe your brush, start again. This is good for my uh, base colour. I haven't got enough white on there. Well, actually, while we're at it, before I put more white in, this will probably work around this area. the actual mixing it works quite well. Lightens areas up a bit, which is what we want. Works quite well. So back, having a look. It's really interesting the inside of a tomato. one this sort of in depth <laughs> just eat away chomp away not really thinking about what a tomato looks like of a, uh, a seed. Now you could go in there with a small brush and really go for it. What I do is I just put a little bit in and kind of get rid of it in a way. And I need this brush just to sort of red on it. Just to do that on that. Red, even there. 
Okay, sit back, have a look. I got this shape a bit more like that. There we go. <laughs> Interesting. And then I'm gonna do a bit of this yellow there. Use some brush strokes to create some of the shape. Yesterday when I was doing the uh, brush, I was trying to be a bit more, you know, specific in my strokes. Um, try and make it look more uh, photo realistic, I suppose. But today I'm kind of, I kind of want that in a way but I also want to use brush strokes uh, I could do a tiny bit of red there just grab a little bit of red just uh, put that together and I can mess around with that a bit Some of this Oh, not speaking. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just getting lost in the painting then. That was crazy. That was wild. That was gone. I was gone. And then I just suddenly went, oh, I'm filming myself here as I'm like chucking paint on with a uh, total disregard really at the fact that I'm being recorded. I was just engrossed in it. It is actually quite hard to uh, record yourself and paint at the same time because your mind, well mind does anyway, I'm not sure about other people, my mind just gets in the painting. I'm right in the painting, painting. Really, really in there. <laughs> totally lost in it. So when I'm uh, when you're lost in your picture, that's when you really, for me, that's when I'm really enjoying it, really, uh, and I'm really enjoying this one now. At first, the first bit, and I, I, I think it's the same with all my pictures that I do, the first bit is really hard. <laughs> the getting, getting it going, it's really hard work, and it takes a bit of time for me to get to the point where I'm having fun. <laughs> which is where I'm at now. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. Where for a while, it was a bit like, oh, come on, let's bring this together. Let's get this painting going. Whoops, let's sit back and have a look. I'm liking this. It looks really weird. It looks almost alien-like. <laughs> So I've gone off colour a little bit on this bit, so, so just put this in. Mm -hmm. 
I've got these little wiggles here. I've got these spots of white. Okay, I like that. Really, <laughs> I didn't think I'd enjoy painting um, the segment of a tomato this much, but I really am enjoying this. I think uh, partially is because I'm, I'm quite loose in my strokes. What's that? It's crimson. Oh <laughs> God! I don't want the crimson. I wanted the brown. Where's the brown? Is that the brown? Yeah, I want a little bit of brown just to go. Blub, like that. Yeah, I'll wipe this brush first. No, I saw it. Let's just use the brush two ends. A bit of brown and then a bit of colour. Mm, that's not really worked, has it? I had to dot a bit of yellow in and hope that it would turn into a seed. <laughs> what if I go? Mm, we might have to use a small brush. Well, wow. we've lasted quite a long time without using a small brush, haven't we? Quite happy about that. But yeah, if I want to get this seed shape. <laughs> There's a seed colour anyway. Let's uh, put another one in. It's about that. Um, slightly off, but not much. It's a bit big, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like that. That's all right. So 
Um, see if we can improve some of these ones over here, probably. Don't look too bad over here, actually. Let's go backwards on our seat. at areas that I'm not that keen on now and it's that bit of red there that I hate <laughs> it's a strong word isn't it hate Okay. I like that, I quite like that actually. I want to get that, um, that light in. Uh, what colour is that light? Ooh, 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 bit of white, tiny bit of Naples yellow, I think. I might do the Naples yellow light. of my chair <laughs> let's just have a look at that against that yeah that's pretty close probably do so we need to get these light sparks and so Wiggle, wiggle, <laughs> oh, that's awful, uh, wiggle, there's <laughs> a fly trying to get me, wiggle, 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 mm, not perfect, but it'll do. It'll do me, it'll do me as yes, it will. B dots here, dot here, dot here, dot there, dot dot, dot dot, oh no, the dashes. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, this wiggly shape here. Not quite right, is it? It doesn't matter, does it? Oh, it's sort of wiggly. could go into this a bit. Let's use my finger to get rid of it a bit. Smooth it. 
soften it. Use the brush to make that bit a bit harder. And soften it with a finger. And you can keep going and going and going. Like, like I always say, uh, you could uh, mess this up, no problem. <laughs> I know I could. I know I could, that's for sure. I think, for the Tommy Tommy Tim Tom, I think I'll stop and I'll uh, now, using the magic brush, I think I'll make this grey colour. So I need, I need some black. I've got some black somewhere. Oh. I need some black. Some black. That might be enough. We'll see. So I'm going to make a greyish colour. I might get some blue as well. So black and blue, blue and black. Make a little space with the white here. This tube's quite warm because I've been holding it. <laughs> I think I have anyway. Why is it so warm? I must have been holding it. See everything is forgotten when you're painting. So I'm just mixing this up straight on the, uh, whoops, blob of paint just went flying then. Straight on the canvas. You don't have to uh, mix on your palette all the time. You can mix right on your canvas. You can get a colour similar to what you want, no problem. Like I did. I got similar. It's not the same, it's similar. Shadow. Forgot about that. Wee. <laughs> Whoops a daisy. Whoops a daisy. So you can easily get away with stuff like that by uh, just mixing it in with the paint. It doesn't matter if there's a bit of red in there, does it? I don't think so. going a bit weird. Hopefully it'll be okay when I check it. Right, we need to uh, get in tight now. Because we've got so much uh, colour on our brush, so much white, too much. If he was doing something like different, like black, a black silhouette or something, and he was doing it all wet and wet, um, it can be tricky because of it, the colour like this, it, you end up moving it. And then if you're doing like specific colours in the background that you want it to keep nice and clean, then Sometimes it's better to wait for it to dry first. Wow, that's a bit weird. <laughs> I do it like that. Let's just get rid of that. Uh, yeah. There we go, I'll do it. Oh, well, I've got rid of one of my marks now, haven't I? Put it back. Back. I'll do it. wasn't even there, but it is now. It looks good. 
Okay, so that's all filled in. Oh, and just this end. This end. If you can't and you struggle, just turn your picture upside down and then uh, you can do all your best marks of your right all the way through. <laughs> it's a drawing trick that is, but it works for painting as well. Right, now then, we need a shadow. This is brown, is it? I might use this actually. Quite a warm shadow, why not? It's quite a warm shadow. And then uh, nearer. Nearer the uh, tomato. And the uh, a bit darker. darker actually. Let's use some black here. Okay. <laughs> when you look you look down and then you look up and you're like, whoa, oh, tomato looks pretty good. Happy with that. I'm happy with today's picture. I was happy with yesterday's as well, though, to be fair. This practice, it's paying off. Okay, let's uh, dark and dark and this bit, dark and this bit. Much more. Just go out a little bit like that. And then, what I might do using the, hmm, not that finger. It's got red on it. Using a clean finger, clean dry finger, swipe up my t shirt <laughs> and go and soften that and. Soften, soften. So just sitting back, having a look. Any area that I don't like too much of this bit now. I think I'm gonna put a bit of crimson in it.
I actually do prefer that. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm happy with that. It's pretty much what I wanted to achieve. And uh, looks like a tomato. We have a shadow. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, I'd put that in my burger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's another painting for today. Uh, you could you could go further, and you could like put these little flicks over here of the uh, tomato where it's been cut and stuff. And uh, you can uh, really play around with the colour and stuff and and really develop it further, like I said, and take it to almost like photo, if that's what you wanted to do. Um, you could do that, no problem. Um, if you wanted to, you just improve your do drawing better than me. <laughs> Get your ruler out and measure everything, and you could do it, no problem. Or use a proportion divider. That's what some people use as well, but you could do it. You could do it. I feel like I want to just do it as this today for this one. And I think that'll do. I think I'll put my brush down and say, Why did I use so much red? <laughs> What was the matter with me today? <laughs> but um, we did the tomato, so it's all right. So thanks very much for watching this episode. Whoops. And I'll hopefully see you in another episode. Hope you're enjoying these. I hope, uh, yeah, you're enjoying painting. I was giving you ideas at least and uh, making you think, oh, I think I'll paint a slice of tomato, or maybe you want to do a slice of cucumber. Mm, interesting. Have you really looked at a cucumber slice before? Have you really looked at it, admired it, painted it? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to check out my Facebook, my Instagram, my, um, oh, that's it. No, Patreon, <laughs> my Society6, if you want a t-shirt or a mug. And, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to press like. <laughs>